productive day. I was here till about 2 a.m. last night. It's about 5 30 a.m. now. Caught a few winks of sleep getting the kitchen countertop today. I'm super excited. Before the crew arrives I'm just gonna clean up a little bit more. Kind of picked up last night to try and clear a path for the countertop crew. Um, and I'm gonna install light fixtures and fans. I guess I can't see anything because it is so early, but it's going to be a good day. I need to get to wiring a bunch of LED lights and ceiling fans. And I just had to pop in to say, if you're ever doing um, a decent amount of wire stripping to hook up light fixtures or ceiling fans, this tool freaking amazing i'm really upset i didn't get it sooner here let me show it in action so this is the vice grip wire stripper it is incredible oh my gosh i've done so many light fixtures and so many ceiling fans in my life and i've just i guess done them sporadically enough that i never thought to invest in a wire stripping tool and then here i'm doing something like 40 light fixtures maybe more um, and four ceiling fans, and I'd probably have already done six, 10, four, I don't know, maybe like 20 and probably halfway through. And I was just um, wire stripping the old fashioned way with just taping your pliers and just gently um, cutting the sheathing and then ripping it off. All right, let me see if I can do this one handed while I hold the camera. So we've got standard wiring here. We've got a black, a white, a ground. Um, it's just white from the paint. Um, so this is ideally done with two hands. Let's see if I can hold the camera and still manage to do this. And if I can, it's going to be a big testament to how easy this tool is to use that you can do it one-handed. I'm gonna give a standard disclosure and warning. If you don't know what you're doing, make sure to consult with a licensed electrician. Um, we don't have any power here, so I don't need to turn off the breaker, but make sure that you are being safe, you know what you're doing, turn off power so that you're not working on hot live wires. All you need to do, first of all, it has this like cool little stop. If you wanna set the depth or length of your um, stripped wire, I'm just gonna kinda put it in between. And then you, see if I can guide this in with one hand, you, Put it in there, crimp, and then it just tears the sheathing off. I have it kind of deep, that's why it didn't pop off, but normally it just pops off. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Super excited to just tear through all of these now. Uh, guide it in, crimp it, pops off. Incredible! bits of details. I'm just getting back on site at the farm. I had a really great call, virtual call, about an exciting project possibly coming down the pike. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at what the crew did today. I think we got our deck. Ah! 
we flip this around. Got our back deck up. Work on the stairs tomorrow, but that is amazing. So this is gonna be just the very first part of the deck, um, just to get us in and out of the house. We've got a nice, oh, what did we say? I think 10 by eight platform there, four by four landing. And then we're gonna add on some really long, kind of shallow stairs that go out really far, mainly because I have bigger plans for how we're gonna expand this in the future. So I love stairs that kind of serve as extra seating, like when you're having a party or a dinner that you can just really just get cozy on. Um, so we're gonna have some really long stairs. That stairway is gonna come out probably to about there. And then in the future, we're going to wrap this all around and there's gonna be an extended um, and some major awesome family patio, fire pit and all that, maybe at a pool. I'm not sure if that'll be at this house, probably little pool. I can't believe they knocked that out so quickly. Um, had a crew of three guys doing that. The deck on the front is just temporary. So this one is permanent in that it's just the start and then we're gonna add on. And the front deck is totally temporary because um, I need to suss out exactly what I wanna do. So we are just doing a temporary four by four platform here. We've got the old stairs there. And it's just, we're gonna raise the grade so you don't need a handrail. Um, you can see where I started digging out this weekend, but yeah, we've totally got that knocked out too. I got some trash I need to take. But yeah, we're gonna raise the grade. Those are gonna be partially submerged. Um, this is sweet. Um, let me get some shoe covers on. All right, I've got my shoe covers on. Let's see what progress we've made inside. Oh, I'm still so in love with these floors. They turned out amazing. I love a good mat satin type finish. Put some ram board down today to protect these floors. Um, getting the light fixtures in place. Got to do some finishing in this bathroom. Um, I threw up a ceiling fan earlier and I think that does it for the bedroom lights. So I've got to put up one, two pendants, three pendants. This one, uh, I have a really cool one, but it's too low. So if I can figure out an alternate rod situation so I don't just have exposed chain, I may get this up tonight. Otherwise I have an alternate pendant in the warehouse that I could use, but I really wanna use the one that I have. Um, and then another pendant there, which is gonna be the same as the hallway and the master bath. So I've got several light pendants to do We've got doors, interior doors to install, and then we gotta get some final trim up. Um, aside that, plumbing, getting our mechanical HVAC unit installed. There's little things here and there, we're almost there. When I have to get all of the outlet covers on. I finished all of them for the new addition, but now that I can get into the rest of the house, I gotta get those on. And, oh, I've got two more light fixtures to do outside. But now that I have my deck, as of today, that will make it much easier. Um, same as the fixtures that I threw in front, but that'll be much easier now. So yeah, we are rolling along all of the final little details that need to get done to wrap up this renovation. Um, it will never be complete. I've always got, <laughs> all these crazy plans going up in my head, but just to get moved in. So we'll so get the skid steer here later this week. We're gonna do some final grading in front. Um, and then, yeah, I feel like we have 10,000 things left to do, but there are 10,000 little things. And then we will soon be living here. And I still have to pinch myself. I can't believe this is our property. The mountains there, just behind those bills of hay is the most gorgeous creek. Um, I can't wait to get 
access down there and then be fishing with the kids. Um, I've got that big hill over there to mow, which will be fun to sled in, in the winter. Um, so yeah, we'll be moved in soon. And then the next adventure, we're gonna get that Quonset hut constructed. Um, we're breaking ground, laying the foundation second or third week in November, then it'll go up pretty quick. Um, and then I'll take the winter to start researching and planning phase one of the farm. We're gonna move very slowly, but it'll be exciting. I'm gonna be a true farm girl. Uh, and then hopefully by spring we'll be ready for, for just some basic stuff. And we'll just take the next couple of years to learn what it takes to be a farmer. I can't wait. Thank you.